The scientific community is constantly on the verge of discovering life-changing new truths about our universe. With each new discovery, we are getting closer to understanding this vast creation that surrounds us. More and more, scientists are bravely exploring the unknown in a universe that we still have so much to learn about. Whether on Earth or outer space, there is always something new for us to uncover. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we are going to look at three discoveries in the field of astronomy that are shaking up the scientific world. Astronomers detect exocomet orbiting a sun NASA's Planet Hunting Telescope, TESS, was recently able to help scientists make an exciting discovery. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite was launched in 2018 for the purpose of searching for exoplanets in a region about 400 times larger than the area explored in the Kepler mission. NASA scientists view TESS as the next step in planet searching outside of our solar system, and they also hope TESS will find planets that can support life. Already demonstrating TESS's potential, recently astronomers discovered the first exocomet using TESS's data. Exocomets have previously been detected in the electromagnetic spectra of stars. According to scientists, as comets pass between the stars and us, the quality of life changes, allowing astronomers to detect its presence. This time around, the star that the exocomet was detected orbiting was Beta Pictoris, a young star at 20 million years old, located about 63 light years away. Due to its youth, it is surrounded by a disk of debris that includes hundreds of comets that were detected using the spectroscopic method. Interestingly, the discovery of the comet using TESS's data was made through a white light curve detection, a whole different ballgame. According to astronomer Matthew Kenworthy of Leiden University in the Netherlands, astronomers have already seen hints of exocomets near Beta Pictoris using a spectrograph. However, a white light curve detection was predicted by another astronomer 20 years ago, and the curve detected with this comet coincides with the computer model he made all those years ago. This fact provides even greater proof of the existence of the exocomet. Additionally, Due to the shape of the light curve detected by TESS, astronomers think they may have found multiple exocomets. The light curve discovered by TESS is actually not new to astronomers. TESS's predecessor, Kepler, had already spotted three exocomet events. Although Kepler's discovery was remarkable, it did not detect these light curves until the end of its 10-year lifespan in space. TESS discovered the light curve only a year into its mission. According to Grant Kennedy of Warwick University, TESS can observe stars in an unbiased way compared to Kepler. For example, while Kepler focused on older stars that were similar to the Sun, TESS is able to observe young stars like Beta Pictoris. Now that astronomers have made this discovery, the next step for them is to search for more light curves to try to understand the role that comets play in the early stages of planetary systems. According to Kennedy, astronomers would like to eventually measure the compositions of these exocomets in the future. He explained, In the solar system, it doesn't look like comets were a major contributor to Earth's water, but this may not be true around other stars. Scientists are rightfully looking at this discovery as an exciting development that may help unlock puzzles that have plagued scientists for years and might get us closer to understanding the universe around us. hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. The Milky Way galaxy is undoubtedly the most famous galaxy. Its existence brings on the question just how many galaxies exist. Counting galaxies, the vast collection of stars that populate our universe, seems like an impossible feat. The first deterrent is simply how many there may be. Once we get to counting multiple billions of galaxies, the maths gets a little tricky. Another deterrent to finding the real number are the limitations of our instruments. In order to get a good view of space, a telescope needs to have an aperture about the diameter of the primary lens, and to avoid distortion from Earth's air, it must be located above the atmosphere. Despite the difficulty of counting galaxies, scientists have not been deterred. 
An example of astronomers attempting a count is how they used an image made from the combination of 10 years of from the Hubble Space Telescope called Hubble Extreme Deep Field, or XDF. The telescope focused on a patch of sky for 50 days of repeated visits. Through many hours of collecting faint light, the XDF was able to detect thousands of galaxies, making it the most in-depth image of the universe ever taken at the time. The Hubble Space Telescope had been an incredible source of information for astronomers in its 19 years of shuttle missions. In its fifth year, astronomers pointed the telescope at a region called Ursa Major, and in just 10 days of observations, it found about 3,000 galaxies in one frame. Hubble was also pointed twice at a spot in the Fornax constellation and at a portion of the ultra-deep field. With each experiment, thousands of galaxies were detected. Due to the sheer number of galaxies detected in multiple small regions, Hubble revealed about 100 billion galaxies. However, some experts expect the number to increase to 200 billion once telescope technology improves. A huge explosion in space explains Mystery Star Previously unknown secrets of the Milky Way galaxy may have been revealed by a huge explosion about 10 times more energetic than a supernova. Astronomers from Australia's Arc Centre of Excellence in All-Sky Astrophysics in Three Dimensions, or Astro 3D, may have discovered evidence of the destruction of a rapidly spinning star's collapse. This phenomenon is described as magnetorotational hypernova. This cataclysm that was previously unknown may be the reason that there is an unusually large presence of some materials in another Milky Way star. The star in question, SMSSJ 2003225411420333, contains larger amounts of metal objects such as zinc, europium and uranium compared to other stars the same age. The materials that are needed to produce these elements, neutron star mergers, do not explain their presence, but astronomers have another explanation for the high levels of neutrons. They suspect that only an extreme collapse of a young star, along with the presence of a rapid rotation and a strong magnetic field, can explain these extra neutrons. Although the star is deemed a metal-poor star because it has an extremely low iron-to-hydrogen ratio compared to the Sun, it also has large amounts of some heavier elements. That makes this star extremely rare. Now, rewinding us back to the beginning of the universe, the first stars were composed of almost only hydrogen and helium. After they collapsed and exploded, they produced heavier elements that were incorporated into the next stars in small amounts. The rates and energies of most of these collapsed stars also don't explain the number of heavy elements in SMSS J2003225411420333. All this evidence points to one thing, according to Professor Chaiki Kobayashi from the University of Hertfordshire. The professor explained that this core collapse explosion of a strongly magnetized fast spinning massive star indicates that there was a different kind of hypernova producing all stable elements in the periodic table at once. Although hypernova have been known of for decades, this discovery is the first time it has been mixed with strong magnetism and rapid rotation. According to astronomer Dr. David Yong, it's an explosive end for the star. We calculate that 13 billion years ago, J2003225411420333 formed out of a chemical soup that contained the remains of this type of hypernova. No one's ever found this phenomenon before. This discovery is a giant step towards finding an explanation for the formation of heavy elements in a young universe and is incredibly exciting for the field of astronomy. Even today, with all of our technology and knowledge, we are still uncovering amazing secrets about the universe around us. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.